And you mentioned something that that definitely worries us when when we see patients go on these medications, and that is that they were implicated in muscle mass loss, and especially for for patients that are for anyone that that is aging and losing muscle mass is critical because it's much harder to gain that muscle mass back. And so you mentioned the resistance exercise crucial, and then sufficient protein intake. So I'm curious what your recommendations are for sufficient. What constitutes a sufficient protein intake? Yeah. Um, so depending on the age, depending on their physical activity, I like to do around 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram. You'll see some people saying 1 to 1.2 grams per pound, which is double that. That's a lot of pressure on your kidneys. We see some studies that actually show a very high protein diet can cause heart failure. So the dose matters. We, we only can really absorb 30 to 40 grams of protein per sitting. So we need to be mindful of that, especially as we're, we're intaking it. And a lot of people who are only concentrating on protein usually miss out on the other macronutrients that your body needs, like complex carbohydrates and heart-healthy fats. So you need to balance it appropriately for proper utilization. But 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram is usually a general sense. If someone has some kidney failure, I, it would be on a, a smaller range. It would be a little bit less. But that's typically how I, how I assess it. What's your, what's your uh, take on supplementing with protein shakes for people like this? Um, so it's a good, so it depends what you're eating. If you're going to actually eat good quality protein, that's going to be a much better source because you're going to get a lot of other nutrients. It's not processed. Protein supplements are a supplement. They go into the same category as supplement. They can supplement a diet, but it can't be your only source of protein. I want, a lot of my clients will do protein shakes and protein powders. It's perfectly okay. But you can add in a lot of protein into your diet in the natural form, and that's going to give you a lot more nutrients as well. If you enjoyed that segment and you'd like to watch another, click here. And if you'd like to watch the full episode, click here.